Hello friends, welcome to Time West Spend Kitchen. I'm Mirabel, your host of Time West Spend Kitchen. If it's your first time stopping by, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You're not gonna regret anything. If you've been there as a subscriber, thank you so much for hanging in there. And if you're just passing by, consider to join our team, okay? Join our family. Thank you so much for watching this channel. Today is a very special day. We're gonna prepare you one of the easiest recipes you can find out there. But I believe everybody have their taste, okay? They have their, their, their touch. So why don't you stay tuned and see how I do mine? What do I really do? What will I do to make it taste different? And guess what? It's the touch and the way we go about it. So first thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna put our milk together and our starter. So the two ingredients we have for this recipe: milk, whole milk, and starter. There are different kinds of milk out there, so it's good to look for milk, normal milk out there. If you use skim milk, you expect your, your yogurt not to be heavy. It's good to look, use whole milk. So thank you all so much for hanging in there. Thank you all so much for watching this channel. Don't go away. So these are our ingredients I want to show you. We have whole milk. This is what I use. This is so good. It's kind of heavy. It's not light. It's not skim milk, but it's actually low fat milk. So it's not skim. Skim is really, really light. If you use skim milk, you might not have a very heavy yogurt. This is good. It's whole milk. Any whole milk of your choice. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to boil that milk. Before I start boiling, I'm going to show you. I have my starter. Any yogurt. Or maybe the yogurt you did before, you know, any uh, yogurt without flavor is perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and boil. I'm gonna boil this milk. Preferably, you wanna do it on a very, very, very low heat. You know, you don't wanna um, cook your milk to burn and to have particles under. It's gonna give the yogurt a very bad flavor. So we're gonna boil our milk. So the amount of milk you use will give you the amount of yogurt depending on your milk, the quantity of milk you have. So I'm gonna do two of these. Let me see how it goes, maybe one and a half because I don't want it to be too full. Yeah, two is good. That's all you need for yogurt, you know? And then you wanna be stirring this gently. You don't wanna leave your, your, your stove. Just put it on medium heat. I prefer it go gently until this comes to a boil. And then you know you can put it down. Our milk is almost boiling. So we're going to continue to stir it, it's almost boiling, I've not left this stove, I've just been stirring like this. So our milk is boiling, we're going to go ahead and put off the stove right away. Like I said, if you don't put it off, you're going to start having butter. So this is perfect. More than 100 degrees it's boiling so I'm gonna go ahead and put off the stove right now so we need to keep this to cool totally at least less than 100 degrees before we can put a starter so the best way to do this if you really want it to cool fast is to put it on top of an ice bucket like what I'm about to show you right now so this is cool I'm gonna take it out of here so I have it on my countertop, but I have a stone where I put my hot pot, you know. I put it there to stand, and I'm going to put it on top of ice. Let's put it here. You can see I have ice and cold water, ice water in there. Leave it open to cool down. It's going to cool first, and then we're going to complete our process. I think it has cooled down now. The next thing I'm gonna do is to strain this. I'm gonna strain this so that if there's any particle, you know, it comes out. 
gonna make sure that my yogurt is clean, white, and you can see we have particles that are coming out from the boiling. You don't want that in your yogurt. Strain that out. Strain that. So you have a clean yogurt. Now is the time to add the starter. So what is good to do is that for the two quarts of milk that we use, I'm going to put one cup of starter. That should be enough. And what I will do is that I'm going to take some milk, you know, like that. So you want to mix this well so that you don't put lumps into your yogurt. This is perfect. And then we're gonna just pour it in here. And stir it gently. So we're gonna keep this warm, preferably covered. So I'm gonna put it in a cover pot, a pot that has like and a pot that has cover. You know, clean. Make sure it's clean. Cover it. And I'm gonna wrap this up. Warm and put in the oven. Don't go away. So I've wrapped it very well to keep it warm. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. It takes 8 to 12 hours. So by the time we wake up in the morning, it's going to be perfect. So stay tuned and see how this come out. This has been Time Westman Kitchen. We are almost there. Don't go away. Good morning, friends. It's morning. That's after two days where we made our yogurt. So what we did was we put the yogurt in the fridge after 12 hours from the night we made it. And then we remove it and put it in the fridge. It's been there for one more day. So from the night we made it till now, it's two days straight. So you can see the yogurt is ready. So what I do next is that I'm going to sieve it. This is Kosam yogurt 100%. So I'm trying to sieve it. See how this is beautiful. So this is yogurt made with low fat milk. Very low fat milk. That's why it's runny. If you don't want your yogurt to be runny, you can use cheesecloth to squeeze out the water that is there. But this is how I like my yogurt. You see? I strain it to remove every particle you can see you can still see some particles there you can see then you have smooth yogurt under like I said if you want a thick thick yogurt use cheesecloth to drain the water but this is how I want this is how I enjoy my yogurt with low fat milk and most of the time when you use low fat milk you won't have a thick yogurt you have a runny yogurt like this because low fat milk has water so but you can still achieve Greek yogurt from here by using cheesecloth. You see? So see, that's why we strain it. Strain it. You see? And then, let me put this aside. You can see we have our plain yogurt. Oh my God, this is so delicious. See this? Low-fat yogurt. And this does not have no... Like I was saying, this does not have any sugar yet. But the way we enjoy it in my house, I'm going to show you how we enjoy this. So I put sugar. I'm going to put a cup of sugar to see. Ah, not tasty. Put sugar. Stir it very well. Let's 
so I love it. I've added sugar to my taste. Why I love this recipe is that I can measure my sugar. It's not like the yogurt drinks you buy in the store, you just eat whatever the sugar content is there. This one I've measured my sugar. It's perfect. So now I'm gonna put them into my containers and you can enjoy them various ways. You can put them in containers or you can enjoy them for breakfast. You know, you can put small for breakfast or you can also do it as a dip, you know. Or the rest, you know, we just have your chocolate, uh, your yogurt drink in the fridge. Let me see how many days will go. If you want to mix strawberry in here, that's fine. You can mix strawberry in here. You can smash strawberry and add to this drink. But this is just plain yogurt. You can do it like this. Here we have three bottles. Perfect. See, our yogurt is ready, so you can have dip. And then, you know, breakfast, just put some, um, put some cereal, and you, you have a perfect way to enjoy this. You can enjoy it like this. Low fat yogurt, you can enjoy it like this with fruits. You know, I don't mind to put this in the morning. You can do that. And then you can drink. Well, thank you for watching Time Well Spent Kitchen, guys. This has been our perfect yogurt drink. Low-fat yogurt. Try it at home. Comment below and let me know. Thank you so much. Bye. Bon appétit. Thank you. Chaque fois, au fond de moi, je me sentais nu. Peu à peu, je me sentais mourir. La détresse et l'angoisse m'attiraient en douceur. Oh, oh, oh.